What is going on, my YouTube family? Sergeant Greybeard at Greybeard Gaming Group. Today is Friday, November 20th, and as always, I hope this message finds you healthy and safe. Over the past week, we have received some messages asking us what are some of our favorite weapons in the game so far. So today we want to show you not only a few of those weapons, but we also want to show you where they're located and how you get them. Now, if you happen to be new to our channel, first of all, welcome. Secondly, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of our gaming family. And if you enjoyed this or found it helpful, take a quick second and hit that like button. It really does help us out. Finally, as most of you know, we have giveaways here, and our current one is for a $100 gift card to either the Xbox or PlayStation Store, depending on which console you're running, and all you need to do to enter is subscribe to our channel here or follow us on Twitter. Either way is fine. We will be announcing the winner on December 10th of this year, and as I've said in every previous video, watching our content is not a requirement to win. Only watch the things here you may enjoy. That's why we give you the option of entering via Twitter. Having said that, let's get into today's video. So as we start off, I want to point out the fact that my character's power level when I picked up these weapons ranged between from 60 and 62. And the only reason I bring that up is for two of these weapons, you're going to face at least one NPC. So as long as you're around that power level, I didn't have an issue with taking these guys down. So you guys should be pretty good to go. Having said that, the first weapon we are showing you today is Fafnir's Fang. This thing is an absolute beast. Now, it is located in Norway. I don't recommend trying to get this thing right away. I went into England, powered up a little bit, and then came back to pick this up. You can see on the map we are just northeast of our settlement in Norway, and all you'll do is go to this location right here marked on the map. You'll find a cave there. You head in, you face the NPC, and once you defeat him, then you'll pick up the spear. So as I show you the location of the entrance to the cave, I'm going to cut away from the footage because I don't like giving away spoilers here. It's just a little bit of the story. However, a friendly reminder, my character was at power level 60, so as long as you're around that, you should be fine to take this guy out. Now you can see here in a second, I have a long way to go until I fully maximize this weapon, but I'm a huge fan of the talent, which is you increase your critical hit chance when you're surrounded by more than three enemies, and in this game, you're pretty much always surrounded by more than three enemies. For our next weapon, we're going to head back into England. You can see in the map we are southwest of Ravensthorpe. We are going to be showing you House Carl's Axe, and what's great about this is the fact that it's not locked behind any level, and you can get it really early on. You can see here we're in a small village, pretty much in the center, there's one big hut. There are NPCs here, but again, your character should be strong enough. You'll head over to this loot box, and inside, that's where you'll find the axe. Again, you can see with this weapon, like the previous one, we have a long way to go to actually get it to legendary status, but the talent itself, where you increase the attack after each hit up to 10 times, that thing does stack, and it really puts out a lot of damage. The next weapon I'm going to be showing you is the Blacksmith's Hammer. It's located in the area of London where we have marked on the map. Now it does say the suggested level is 90, but again, I'm at 60. As long as you're around that, you should be good. And you're only looking for one NPC, and it's the one who has the key at the bottom of what looks like a small church. Now you'll see from the gameplay here, I chose to sneak into this area because my character is at a much lower level than recommended. And one of the great things about this game is that you can pretty much sneak around and get any of these items that are not locked behind actual missions. So all you'll actually do is roll up on this guy. You can assassinate him pretty quick. You can also steal the key if you try that. Now he did take a few more hits because my character wasn't that strong. But once I defeated him, you pick up the key and then you head up the ladder right behind you. And again, this is how I just chose to play it. You can go in here, you know, swords and axes blazing if you want, just take out everyone. But for me, like I said, I wanted to make sure I was able to get through it. Anyway, climb up the ladder, you take out that little piece of hidden floor, climb up the wall, and then you will see the uh, loot box right over here to the right. And this hammer, in my opinion, has one of the best talents that we've found in the game so far. And look, there's a lot of stuff we haven't discovered yet or we haven't put out as yet, and we'll bring it all to you. But here you can see heavy critical hits knocks enemies on the ground, and then you're just pummeling them like it's fish in a barrel. It's awesome. The next weapon we're going to be showing you, my friends, is Lagatha's Axe. It is in the most northern part of the map of England, and I know it's a bit of a hike out there, but the best thing is, is that I made it from the middle of the map all the way up there and didn't have to face one NPC. 
And like I said a minute ago, I really like the fact that a lot of these powerful weapons are not locked behind story missions because that gives you the ability to pick them up early in the game and strengthen them as you move along. So as you roll up to the spot, you're going to notice an area that's blocked off by some rubble. All you'll do is turn around, jump into the pond, swim underwater to this little hut, and in there you'll find some fire barrels which you can use to blow up the wall. One friendly reminder is that you can jump through the windows while you're holding these barrels. Do not try to throw it through the window. I can tell you by experience, it's just going to hit something, it's going to explode, you'll light yourself on fire, and that sucks. Anyway, at that point, you just go through the door, you're going to see the loot chest right when you walk in, and this is another one of those weapons that a lot of people like using because the thing just puts out a ton of damage. And like I said earlier, one of the reasons why I recommend picking up this weapon early is you can start to really stack this thing as you build your character. And once this thing is at legendary status, it's an absolute monster. And I just realized, I think I said this earlier as well, it's not legendary quality, it's mythical quality, but you guys know what I mean. Once these things are fully maxed out, they are absolutely awesome. As we wrap this up, keep in mind that there are some amazing weapons that are locked behind story missions as well. However, today we really wanted to highlight the ones that you could find in the open world and really pick them up anytime you want. Having said all of that, my friends, I want to take a moment and thank you all for the continued support. You know, we've only really covered one other game on our channel so far. We're newer, we're less than eight months old, but the way you've welcomed us into this community has been absolutely awesome. This is going to be the first of many videos that we put out like this for Assassin's Creed. We want to show you different farming videos on resources, where to find some of the best armor and, you know, weapons, all that stuff, as well as news updates and let you know what's going on in the game. As I said at the beginning of this thing, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I mean, only hit the button if you liked it. If you didn't, you can totally bail. Like, I will not take offense to it. You know, our, our goal here is simple. It's to create a non-toxic gaming environment where people work together. So just be a good person and yeah, you're welcome here anytime. That being said, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you are new, hit that subscribe button. If you did like this, hit that like button. But most importantly, as always, take care, be kind, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone.